Hey guys, so um, again, I'm filming outside. There might be some background interference, cars and everything. But I just wanted to check in. This isn't going to be an edited video. This is just a real quick, um, I'm just finishing up my makeup. So I thought I would hop on. Um, just going to do a quick and easy eye look today because I have some errands to finish or well not to finish to start I guess so I have some running to do and then I am babysitting my nieces tonight so let me take this and rub this on my eyelid to prep my eyes and my dog is going nuts inside the house because the neighbors are out so she can hear them and see them through the window So I hope you guys are having a great day. Tell me all about it in the comments. Right. I use my finger to put it on, but because I don't want to have a whole lot sit on my eyes because too much will make it hard for me to blend out my um, eyeshadow. I do take a damp beauty blender and go through and just kind of pat it in. And that helps it set down some so it's not quite as sticky. And then I gotta decide what I'm going with today. And I kind of just want to do something real super easy, simple, neutral. So I'm going into, I'm kind of obsessed right now with my LA Colors palettes, my Cool and the Nude palette, because I love nudes and. They're just great for everyday looks, but the Cool Palette does have some more playful colors, which I don't mind those, especially purples, and purples are really pretty um, against my eye color, so I do like to play with those more often than anything else, but I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll save that for another day. Just gonna set this pale brown. Let's see if I can move my mirror over this way so I'm not looking away from you as I usually am. And just go over my eye lid cover with this as my base. It is gorgeous out today, and in case you don't know, I am in PA. I live just outside of Williamsport, which is probably best described and known as home of the Little League World Series, so that's where I'm from, and fall is literally my favorite of all seasons, so I'm so excited, just so excited that it's finally here, because I'm ready for it. Like, I'm really ready for it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in with this shimmery type deep brown. Now, I do have hooded eyes, so if you have hooded eyes, you will most likely have to apply your eyeshadow a bit different than those who don't have hooded eyes, because otherwise when we open our eyes, everything disappears. I think that's the hardest part for me when it comes to my makeup because my eye look, well anybody's eye look really is like the standout thing when you're doing makeup really 
N. For those of us who have the hooded eyes, we kind of get jets a little. Because we can create this really awesome, really cute look. But because of the hooded eyes, it's really hard for it to be seen unless we close our eyes. And, well, we don't walk around with our eyes closed, so. I'm just trying to blend this out. And then I'll give you another simple fact because this might explain so much about me. I have uh, OCD. So, I have issues. <laughs> Not just when it comes to doing like my makeup or other people's, but I also, um, I do cut hair. Mainly just my kids and my girlfriend. Um my best friend, but my OCD most definitely makes me take way longer to accomplish things. So I've actually been trying to work on that, which is another reason that I thought, you know what, let's see how this channel works out. See if anybody's actually interested. Because I'm a little bit different <laughs> in a lot of respects. Um, I just did this because I wanted to have some fun. Um, my daughter is finally at the age where she's starting to enjoy girly things now. Because she didn't at all. Um, so, it, and she watches YouTube all the time. So, of course, she was thrilled when I said... I think I'm going to attempt it. I think I'm going to go ahead and, and see <clears throat> how it goes. Okay, let's see. I'm going to also just use the same brush. See what this does. So let's go to my mirror. I kind of like this tone. Just, sorry, again, I'm going out of the camera, I'm trying to blend it down some. And go back into that first crease shade because I need to blend that in here. Pull it down just a little bit because, like I said, I'm just going with a super simple look, so I don't want to go super dramatic, but I also want to have a little bit of fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm just pulling this down so I'm just about right above my lid. And I'm going to save that, and I'm going to do a nice little shimmer. I think we're going to do a shimmer. Just trying to decide. Going with this little fall theme since it's kind of just what I'm getting into because I love the season. And I'm not a pumpkin spice latte or whatever. It's not just not me. But I also I don't drink coffee anymore. Um, actually no caffeine. Pretty excited and happy about that. It's been about, oh my goodness, almost, oh, about a year and a half since I completely quit caffeine, so definitely feel a lot better. All right, now for my lid. I was liking this 
burnt orange with a shimmer, but I'm kind of going towards this gold. I can't decide though. Like I like this really burnt orange. It's got a shimmer to it, so it most definitely is not plain. But you know what? We're going to go with gold. Just because I feel like it today. Alright. And I did start cleaning some of my brushes. But I didn't finish. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that tonight while I'm babysitting. Who knows? Who knows? Alright. Let's see. I did not bring my spray out so let's see how well this holds picking up a little bit Okay, there we go. And again, I'm just swiping this on my lid. So, does anybody have any plans for the weekend? I spent last night at the ER with my daughter. Last weekend, uh, we were at my best friend's. Um, they were having a sleepover with her daughter and some other girls for my niece's birthday. And... They were out riding bikes, and my daughter, because she takes after me, of course, she fell and messed up her knee, and at first we thought it was just scraped up pretty good, but, and obviously bruised. She couldn't walk for like two days after, but... She had been doing a lot better. She was walking on it. Um, I shouldn't say walking. She was limping on it. But she wasn't complaining so much as to where I thought it was a concern. Okay, there we go. We got that on. But we are going on almost five days since she had it happen so I thought you know we need to go get it checked out because I'd rather be safe than sorry and so we did okay now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and take this darker color and we're gonna go in the corner of the eye with that and just bring it in the V Just to darken it up a little bit. Because I don't want to do too much. Like I said, we're just going to keep it. Keep it simple. I'm not getting super dressy or anything. I'm just going to probably throw on a t-shirt, some sneakers. This side is really bugging me. I can clean this up with it. There we go. I'm just 
just going to bring this in a little bit. See? Y'all guys thought I was lying. I know you did about being attacked by bees when I tried to record out here the one day. But they're back. <laughs> He's right by my camera. <laughs> I promise I am going to try not to freak out, but... I can't make any guarantees. Not freak out, okay? I'm not, like, super paranoid or anything. They just, I don't like them, okay? And I let's be honest, there's nobody that really likes a bee to just be chilling with them. I hope that you guys stick around and like the channel. Like I said, everything here is real. We're just... Having fun, we play with makeup. And there's more bees flying around my head. Be at my head. Come on. Sorry. Alright, now I think I've got the outsides evened up. It was bugging me. My OCD again. Alright, now what I'm going to do is take my blender brush and bring that from the inside here I'm just gonna use the color that I had first in my crease and we're just gonna blend it out here and I only dab a little bit on it you need to sit down and get off of that leg babe I'm gonna, I'm gonna like this running not right now uh, using them Okay, so we got this one. Say hi. <laughs> Wait, I can say hi like this. Okay. Let's see. Alright, now I'm going to take my favorite. I got this in my Ipsy bag. Don't know. Oh, wait, I do know. It is a... I have no idea what this says something glam, but it's an SB68. It is a blending brush. I do know that. <laughs> so I'm going to take this. I'm just going to go kind of down through the top. I just want to soften the lines. Sorry, I totally try not to do that. Okay, well now that I said hi, I'm going back to Okay, go get off the leg. <gasps> And then I'm just going to grab my smudge brush and I'm going to throw up my highlight. I think I'm going to do a combo today. This really pretty peach and then this like really light gold shimmer. And I'm going to pop it right up here in my eyebrows and right here in the corner Wow, the lighting is really bad the way I have you guys. Let's see. A little bit better this way. Okay. I'm going to set you back over here. Okay, right, well, I'm done with my eyes. So I am going to go in and contour and finish up. Um, I mean, you guys can stay, obviously. I'm never going to send you away. I just didn't want to make... Wow, this is not cooperating. I didn't want to make this to like be a super long video. I'm not using 
a mirror is really difficult. <laughs> I did want to give you an update, though. I did set everything up, and I am officially ready to, on Monday, I will be ordering my backdrop. And hopefully, either uh, my rain light, I'm a big one, so my lighting will be much better. And, um... A microphone to help with um, when I'm inside because for some reason when I'm inside it's really difficult I'm going into my elf palette it's my the elf total face palette there's two blushes I think this is supposed to be a highlight but it's actually quite deep so I kind of mix it with the bronze ish whatever and I just take that through where I contour. And again, I need to go back through. But yeah, so hopefully I will have my mic and, uh, backdrop and all that good stuff so my filming will be much better quality wise hopefully my content is already good but of course that's up to YouTube and I know, it's a hit and miss, and I could have literally nobody watching my channel, and you know what, though? That's fine. Because it's fun, and I have fun. And that's really all that matters, is that I'm having fun. And my phone continues to keep doing this, so let's try it like that. And I do need to go back through and use my e.l.f. contouring brush, which I actually love, especially for my nose, to blend because it's kind of hard uh, to get it perfect when you're doing your nose. So I just feel like this helps, so I use it. Alright. The next thing I'm going to take is, as you all know, my other glowy bronzer. And just stack a little bit. Blends because for whatever reason, I was doing something funky up in my hairline today, or it's the light, or the way the light is hitting. It's hard to tell. I don't usually 
record nor do I do my makeup outside, so. Who knows? But it's a simple fix. Alright, that's done. And I'm gonna go in. I'm actually gonna go in with the peacher shade in here for my um, blush this today. I mean, like I said, I'm not big on blushes. But I have been trying to get into them more. Just to give myself some color. And of course you can blend it out, so you can always take it down a notch or bring it back up a notch. I just want to see how this shimmer in here swatches. I guess that would be a really pretty highlight. I don't think you guys can... This lighting is awful. I really apologize. I will show you how it looks in the actual light. But I think I'm going to go in and we're going to try this mirror, Kelly, mirror. Wow, that's a highlight. I was not expecting that. First off, the blush went on way more pigmented than I expected. Which, I don't know why. I didn't expect it, because... Elf is really good. They have really quality stuff. Like... They're, it's no joke. I'm going to do this one, but I'm not loving the way it's sitting on my face. So I think I'm going to go over it with the one in this e.l.f. palette. I don't hate it, it's just, I don't love it. All right, let's try the one in the e.l.f. palette. Okay, I do like how that is turning out. Which I'm gonna blend it out anyway, so. Sorry. And yes, I do know that I could put it in do not disturb mode. However, I am waiting uh, currently for a call from the doctor. Um, she has to see an orthopedic surgeon but they can't get her in, the, well, when I called them this morning, they weren't going to be able to get her seen until um, September 11th, and she's currently in an immobilizer, so super uncomfortable, super annoying, especially being on the crutches, um, she rides the bus to and from school, and is in refusal of letting me just drive her and pick her up, so... Um, but the lady said, you know, she totally understands, but she would like to have her seen sooner. So she's going to put a note in and see if there isn't a way that they could possibly squeeze her in. I really like this elf one, and I'm so shocked because I hadn't used it. I just... I had only used the, the contour in here, or the, uh, yeah, you guys know what I'm trying to say, I think. Alright, so, 
last but not least, technically not last or least or any of that because I do have to do my uh, eyes, my liner and all that, but I'm going to go in with my uh, Clinique powder and this is just going to veil, so we're just going to take it just a little bit on the brush and do some circles. I keep closing this mirror even though I know I need it. And you only need a little bit of powder on. A little bit of powder, some circular motions, and a light hand. And this is like my lounge sweatshirt, so I'm not really worried about whether or not I have makeup on it or get makeup on it because I only wear it around the house. So. Alright, so we're going to take a quick look at what we've done with some, what, decent lighting. And I will post an actual picture um, somewhere on here if I can uh, once I finish my mascara and my eyeliner. But thank you for joining me and I hope you guys enjoy your weekend and are having a great Friday and that you come back. Hit that like button and click subscribe and the notifications if you set them to all you will always be notified when I'm on or when I post. Also, drop me a comment. Say hi. Tell me where you're from. Um, let me know what you're interested in or if there's something in particular you would like to see from just a super normal person who likes to do makeup. Alright. Thanks, guys. Bye.